Hi, I'm Mitch Reed at Mitch Reed Music Lessons and I'm going to give you a little taste of some Cajun fiddle technique for iFiddle Magazine. And uh, I thought what maybe I could talk about this month is just about Cajun bowing, just some of the rocking in Cajun bowing. It kind of makes it unique. Um, I learned a lot of tunes from a guy named Dennis McGee and he had a really old time bowing. And uh, there's a great tune to kind of show that. It's a pretty simple tune. And it's just called Real de Desertel. And what he does is he makes a... I'm tuned down, so I'm tuned down to Cajun tuning, which is D, the little string, the E string is D, then G, C, F. So I'm making a double stop. An F double stop would normally be a G, but I'm doing it here. And then I'm going to rock the open low G and D strings. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to play a melody with my other fingers. So I'm going to do like this. So I'll kind of break that down real quick. Um, basically, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just catching the low G and D, and then I'm going to the E and the A. And then the melody that I'm playing, just to, so you can hear the notes or find the notes without all the other strings, is low second on the E string. And then an opening. So I'm just staying on the E string there. Uh, while I'm doing that though, I'm putting my first finger, I'm holding my first finger down on the A, so I'm creating that, that double stop chord. doing an octave in there. That's real common in Cajun, an old time Cajun fiddle. Alright, and then the B part goes like this. Alright, so let's just go over those notes real slow and then I'll, we'll add like we'll go back to the bowing and add the rocking bowing in there. So we have some slides. Cajun music is very bluesy, so. So now we're going to go back and we're going to add that rocking bowing from the low open G and D to the double stop uh, F chord on the E and A string. So here we go. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about old time Cajun bowing, a lot of rocking back and forth from the low G and D to the E and the A. Um, from what I've heard, most of it was just so the fiddle could be heard over the dancing because in the old time house dances, the wooden floors were really loud and the people were loud. And so just to get a fiddle to be heard, you really had to use all four strings. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me today. 
and uh, for tuning in to uh, iFiddle Magazine and uh, check out MitchReedMusicLessons.com if you're interested in any Cajun or Creole tunes, um, techniques, anything like that. Stay inspired, keep on fiddling. Thanks for joining me.